hello friends uh, now in this video tutorial we are going to look at uh, the DNA uh, replication fidelity and also we are going to look at uh, the exonuclease activity of DNA polymers uh, so far we have discussed about the polymerase activity of DNA polymers which is the basic on main activity of DNA polymers but uh, we also know that this DNA polymerase can act as exonuclease it can chew up nucleotide sequences uh, from uh, from the free three prime ends uh, or sometimes from from the five prime ends too, uh, and this this uh, exonuclease activity is really really important, and this activity is uh, called uh, what do you, what is called it is called uh, proof reading activity. <laughs> Sorry for uh, that. It is called the proof reading activity of DNA polymers. Now why it is called the proof reading activity? Just like a proof reader in kind of uh, printing uh, agencies. Uh, if any spelling mistakes are there, proofreader just correct all these things and look for a good proof of the copy that is to be printed. Like the same way in case of DNA replication, we have to ensure or cell have to ensure that its future generation is going to receive uh, the, the completely healthy DNA. So that's why it need to go through a checking, a scan and look for the damage uh, what, are, what are being made during the replication cycle. So that is checked by uh, this uh, DNA polymerase enzyme and this DNA polymerase enzyme not only check for that but also if anything any problem it can achieve uh, during this checking it can uh, it can uh, reverse the phase it can delete those erroneous nucleotide sequences from that uh, new strand which is being synthesized by itself and then it can resynthesize uh, those strands utilizing the right amount of or the, and the right type of nucleotide sequences now what kind of wrong sequences can be incorporated for example e suppose we are having a strand a t t c on the opposite strand we must put t a a g right so suppose uh, uh, among uh, uh, one of those uh, one of those areas uh, right next to A, that means adin adenosine, as we know according to the watson quick base pair, thymine must pair with this adenosine. Now, by mistake, this are this DNA polymer is uh, put guanosine instead of thymine uh, in 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 front of adenosine, and uh, it finally creates this mistake. Uh, as a result of this mistake, the conformation of DNA polymers get distorted. Now that is really really important point that each time when this DNA polymerase enzyme put one erroneous nucleotide sequences, the structure uh, of this uh, DNA polymerase is distorted in such a way that its functionality is, is getting slower or its productivity uh, is getting slower. Okay, for example, uh, the, those nucleotide sequences which are floating around, uh, this DNA polymers grab them and add them uh, through this three prime end, and the, and the elongation uh, is always going on from five prime to three prime end, right? Uh, so it it is carried out in a particular rate, uh, in a particular productivity. But whenever uh, wrong nucleotide is put in instead of a right nucleotide, uh, this productivity is slow, uh, goes down, right? Why? Because of the distortion in the structure of this DNA polymers. That means it is not only attaching the right nucleotides, but if it attaches a wrong nucleotide, it can uh, eventually, sorry, it can eventually remember that. It can eventually record that that oh shit. I've just added a wrong nucleotide, so I I need to uh, get rid of this nucleotide, right? So it go back, uh, it goes back and look for uh, the process that uh, it can uh, cleave those nucleotide out. So it 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 gets distorted and it gets distorted uh, rapidly whenever it is uh, adding successive wrong nucleotide sequences. Okay, suppose it uh, it adds three or four wrong nucleotide sequences one by each, uh, another. It is getting slower and slower. And why it is getting slower? There's a very good uh, answer for that. Now, as we know, why this DNA polymer is is actually trans uh, is polymerizing the nucleotide sequence addition from five prime to three prime? Why not? Uh, it it is going the opposite direction from three prime to five prime. The answer is it's a race between the polymerization and the exonuclease activity of this DNA polymerase. Now, if we look at the structure of DNA polymers, which is green in color, it is resembling the structure of our uh, our hand. Our this are, this is our thumb. These are our fingers, and this is the palm. Now, and and we know the active site for the catalyzing the activity of uh, polymerization is placed in this palm region, and also we have the we are having the exonuclease site on this palm region and right below the palm region, right? 
now this finger domains are helping to arrange uh, this template strand and thumb domain is helping to arrange the new newly uh, synthesized strands right now what is going on in all the cases there is a race between the polymerization and exonuclease activity now uh, in normal situations when when it is adding uh, the right type of nucleotide sequences uh, the race between this exonuclease and polymerization polymerization wins because it is adding successive right number of and right type of nucleotide sequences and the speed remains very very fast and polymers just go through from from 5 prime to 3 prime really really faster but whenever it attaches a wrong nucleotide sequences it eventually slows down this polymerase and not only uh, slows down but whenever it is adding successive amount of that wrong nucleotide uh, it is it, the, the speed is slowing down and it is slowing down really really a bit and as a result of that the opposite activity that means the activity of in exonuclease is getting upward upward right so the polymerization activity slows down and the exonuclease activity is going up and as a result of this exonuclease uh, imbalance between the polymerization and exonuclease activity exonuclease activity wins and as a result the DNA polymerase changes conformation in such a way that this this active site or the newly synthesized site of this DNA is get distorted and placed exactly towards the exonuclease site which is denoted in this picture below now you can see this DNA is shifting uh, from this uh, polymerization domain to this exonuclease domain and as a result of this sh shifting this polymerase uh, enzyme with, the, with this exonuclease domain can eventually chew up fewer nucleotide sequences from that end as a result of this chewing now it is ready to carry out the right amount of addition of nucleotide sequences towards the 3 prime end and through this 3 prime end okay and again it resumed the DNA synthesis by attaching new nucleotide sequences via the phosphodiester bond formation between themselves so that's why these two conformation are important and remember one thing very very carefully is that it's the race between polymerization and exonuclease activity of DNA polymers and the only one who is going to win who is having the higher speed or higher velocity or higher productivity if any times this uh, DNA polymer slow, slows down uh, the, this, uh, it, it, it will distort its structure it will distort its shape in such a way that this DNA will shift towards the exonuclease activity and the exonuclease activity will take a toll and go against the polymerization because polymerization is getting slower so exonuclease activity is getting faster so some of the strands uh, will be chewed out and as a result of this again uh, this polymerase will uh, shift back to its normal conformation and then uh, it can also uh, eventually start the replication really really faster and again the polymerization step or polymerization process uh, will uh, will be start faster right so this is how uh, the overall system of proofreading is acting on and this proofreading activity is really really important because any problem during this DNA replication will reflect its effect towards the further level of production uh, which is called uh, the transcription and then finally the protein synthesis if any mistake happen in during this DNA replication step it eventually lead to mutation sometimes the mutation can be lethal and this mutation as a result will produce the mutated proteins which sometimes uh, may function badly or sometimes uh, without in having any function so that's why we need to uh, thank this proofreading activity for the purpose and this proofreading activity uh, I can say uh, resemble just like the delete key in your keyboard so whenever you're typing something you're just typing so fast now if you put some wrong uh, words or something though you know the spelling but still uh, due to the first typing you put some wrong uh, number of alphabets or words and you need to delete the word before going to the final sending or final checking so when you go through the checking steps you you find that mistake you delete you press the delete key and exactly the same way it's happening it is uh, via the exonucleus domain and this is acting like a delete key in your keyboard right so that's it and I hope it will help you thank you